What is going on guys? Welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be showing you a full hip mobility session that I did with Jake Keegan, one of my teammates on my team at Ford Madison FC. It's a full professional footballer's hip mobility session. Let's get right on into it. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get at it. Okay, so jumping into it, part one is going to be uh, hip cars. And then the second exercise is going to be hip cars in the opposite direction. And then the third exercise is going to be hip rotations. You're going to see all these exercises right up here on the screen. But I'm just going to go ahead and roll through an explanation of these. And so first off, we have the hip cars. All it is is you're lying on your side and it's just getting the full range of motion of the hip. And uh, basically, you're just doing five reps on each side going both directions. And then you're going to do some uh, hip rotations and you have five reps of those as well. And that's part one. Okay, and so for this video, I separate it into four different parts because there's four different types of exercises that are done in this entire session. And so I definitely recommend that you do um, all of them at the same time if you want. And if you don't want to do all of them at the same time, then I recommend splitting it up into the four phases or the four parts. And you can do one part per day or one part every other day. And this is just gonna help you to increase that range of motion of the hip and the hips are literally absorbing all of the impact or at least most of it that your body is undergoing whenever you're running. But at the same time, it's important that you have good hip range of motion because that is the range of motion that you're gonna be using whenever you open up to receive a ball, whenever you kick and strike, you're using your hip flexor, which is attached to the hip. And whenever you're balancing on one leg or sprinting, you're doing um, activation of the muscles around the hip, like the glutes and the hip flexor and the quads and all the other muscles that are connected around the hip. Okay, and so jumping into part two right here, we have about five exercises in this part. Like I said, you can split it up to part to part. You can do one part per day. Um, but anyways, so the first exercise and the second part is gonna be you're sitting in 90-90 or you're sitting in a pigeon pose and you're just forcing your foot into the floor. And this is basically just to get activation on the hip joint or to put time under tension on your hips. So basically this exercise is really just time under tension to internally rotate your hips. And since you're sitting in a 90-90, that makes it to where the floor acts as a resistance. And so that's helping to activate the hip joint and it basically is acting as a anti-rotation. And that's gonna help to kind of activate and open up and waken up that uh, hip joint. So now the next exercise in this part is going to be the external rotation. So the reverse of the first one and you're driving your knee into the ground and lifting your foot up. And this is the external rotation. And if you are sitting in a 90-90 or a pigeon pose stance like we are, this is very hard to do. And so once again, it is a 30 second hold. Okay, and so then the third mobility exercise in this part is going to be very simple hip openers and that's basically just opening up the hip from sitting in a 90 90 position or a pigeon pose and that's just to get the range of motion going and kind of help the lubrication process of the hip joint itself um, and like i said it's just opening up the hip helping to get that range of motion right and that's pretty much the extent of it five reps on each side the next one is going to be hip circles and so like the hip openers this one is just another kind of pattern to help lubricate and help to open up that hip joint and this one is going to be the same exact reps as the other one five reps each way on each side so for part three you're kneeling for pretty much all these exercises and the first one is going to be kneeling hip circles you're doing five reps on each side going each direction and this one is fantastic this is one of my favorite exercises in the whole entire session and it helps to really really open up the hip it helps to get that range of motion right from a kneeling position okay and so now moving on you can see that jake is showing us the demonstration of going the opposite way for the hip circles this one is very similar to the benefits from the other one it's just opening up the hips and getting that range of motion right from a kneeling position and last but not least for this part it is going to be kneeling hip rotations just like we did the hip rotations before this is still getting the full range of motion of the hip externally and, and internally rotating it five reps on each side 30 seconds you're just chilling out in this position second thing is 45 seconds you're 
pushing against this, then the third thing is 45 seconds you're driving your knee. As you heard Jake say right there, all you're doing for this one is you are first sitting in this position with some type of object to elevate your foot in a 90-90 position or a pigeon pose. And first 30 seconds, you're just sitting there. The second 30 seconds, you are then trying to force your foot into the object. And then the last 30 seconds, you are trying to force your knee into the ground. And so this is activating that hip joint in an even more extreme way than before because you're actually elevating your foot, which is internally rotating your hip, and it's keeping there for a uh, extended period of time. If you're using your hand to bring this up, you hold it, and then you let it drop. And you hold for five, four, three, two, one, lift it again. And so you just heard Jake say right there, the last exercise in this entire session is going to be you sitting in a 99 position or a pigeon pose, and you're gonna lift your foot and then drop it, try to hold as high as you possibly can get it for around five seconds, and you're gonna repeat five times on each side. If you enjoyed this session, do not forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more weekly soccer and fitness content. And do not forget to check out the links in the description of this video for the latest gear, supplements, and apparel that I consume every single day and that I wear every single day. And don't forget to turn on the post notification bell to stay updated on every single time I post. I post either once a week or once every two weeks. Right now during in season, it's harder to post consistently, but I'm trying to bang out this content and help to provide value for you all because I know that you all want to keep on seeing what I'm doing on a daily basis to stay healthy, to get better, and etc. See y'all next week. Peace.